Hey, what's up guys? So as you know, iOS 13 was announced at WWDC and uh, unfortunately, if you have the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, 6 Plus or the iPhone SE, you will not be getting iOS 13. And one of the major things that people are looking forward to apart from the various other upgrades is dark mode. But what if I told you that you could get dark mode on your iPhone 5S or all of these devices that are not getting iOS 13 without jailbreaking. So it's a simple thing. It's no um, third party app. It's a simple setting which is hidden in your settings. So before that, let me just show you that uh, the version of iOS that I'm on. So as you can see, I'm on iOS 12.3. And even if you upgrade to iOS 12.4, it's still going to be there, obviously. So the setting is you go into accessibility, go into display accommodations, invert colors, and choose smart invert. Now, basically, as it mentioned, smart invert colors reverses the colors of the display, except for images, media, and some apps that use dark color styles. So turn this on and voila, you have dark mode on your iPhone 5S. Right? This is especially useful when at night, you know, all the lights are off in your room and you still want to check your notifications. So whenever you open something, go to settings, it doesn't blind you. Right? Now, one thing I do have to mention is that this works best with the native uh, Apple apps. And uh, if you go into, say, camera, yeah, that's a glitch. Don't worry about that. But you can take a photo and it's not inverted. So it's just fine, no problem. If you go into gallery, see it's not inverted. So very intelligently inverts the colors of the rest of the things. But if you have a third party app such as Snapseed and you want to edit it while you have inverted colors on, everything is inverted and yeah, that's gonna be a problem. So I'm not saying it's foolproof, it's not perfect, but at least if you want to get a bit of that dark mode experience you can with your native apple apps in settings uh even when you're dialing so yeah at least that's there so it's a really simple tool and i think it's really useful um and yeah so just it just doesn't work best with any third party app so even if you go into google as you can see this is how it appears but if it's text based, so okay, now it's fine. So basically, if it's text based, where you don't need to see photos, uh, I think this, this will work just fine and reduce your eye strain. But uh, if it's any third party app where you need to edit photos or shoot videos or whatever, that will not be useful. But at least you know you can get something that's 90% close to dark mode on these devices, which will not be getting the update. So I hope that's been useful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like on the way out. It really gives me the impetus to make more videos. Subscribe to PRCast9. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.